Howdy folks, this is Admiral Revan here. Welcome to the channel. G'day mates, it's good to catch up with you. This is the first podcast video that is done in recognition for the channel, for the community, and about me and everything. So you get to know me a bit more. And honestly, um, this video is getting updated because of my previous video that I started talking about uh, myself a while ago. And I just realized when I reviewed it, it's uh, some of the information on there on that previous podcast video is now out of date. So today we are starting off with officially in 2022, a brand new podcast video. So welcome, my friends. It's great to see you all. Hope you're all doing well. So I'm Admiral Revan. I'm an Australian streamer who has been streaming on Twitch for a couple of years. And basically, I stream Twitch as a hobby for fun and enjoyment purposes now i have expanded to youtube because youtube is a great resource and sourceful information for different reasons and basically i use youtube my channel here for sharing the wealth and knowledge and basically i do podcast reviews as well as reviews of about the games i play like warship reviews for World of Warships, dev blog reviews, and also uh, share a bit of in a uh, bit of uh, information on the Star Wars: The Old Republic game as well, and also the other games I play for fun and enjoyment. And that way, it keeps in touch with the player base, so that you know what you're in for and having fun and everything. Now, honestly. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you, the people out there who watch it, this content and everything. You feel more receptive, more like at home and having a good time. And that's what it's all about, you know, having that fun and enjoyment. So that's what I built the community for. And pretty much, but the backstory about this is that back in November 2019, I wasn't 100% sure where my job was going at the time. I was in full-time employment in the hospital as a tech support officer as well as a system admin and I did a good job of it. But unfortunately, in when December came, in December 2019, I was made redundant from my job and I did not know what to do. In between all that, I actually upgraded my computer and decided to get some stream gear with a microphone and decided to experiment the idea of streaming World of Warcraft. When I started streaming World of Warcraft back then, well, it did not uh, turn out what I hoped. So I basically took a step back and decided to just think about, you know, what I was going to do for the games and everything I was going to choose from. So... When I was looking at the idea of streaming World of Warships, and I looked at the reasons behind it, was that back in those times, there weren't many Australian, New Zealand content creators or streamers streaming online for World of Warships for the Southeast Asia, Asia Pacific region server. When I first uh, started making queries about you know how to become a content creator slash community contributor for World of Warships, I didn't get any rich information from the Asia server. However, the people on the North American community were more helpful. And that's when I started to realize that, okay, so now I'm going to start, you know, working on that. So when I started working on that, I realized that I was being surrounded by a good group of people, having a lot of fun, had a great time, and that was the main thing, right? So I realized that, well, you know, I'm doing something right. I must be. I must be doing something right. So, honestly, uh, when I thought about the whole situation and everything, I was kind of like, okay, well, I must be doing anything that I'm doing right now. Uh, it must be in the right direction. And that's okay. So, the question is, though, um, where to from here? So, pretty much, um, I just like sat down and go like, okay, well, I don't know what I'm going to do, but... Maybe I'm going to expand my YouTube channel for the dev blog worship reviews and then have, you know, some key highlights of some, you know, things that I've really enjoyed about the game and actually share with the people out there and do some podcasting with other people from different streamers and as well as people who do artwork and stuff like that and promoting all about fun and enjoyment, why we love it, you know. 
And uh, when I looked at Star Wars Your Republic, uh, basically I became a content creator for it and was recognized, equivalent to a World of Warships community contributor. Within a period of six to eight months, I would start streaming uh, the World of Warships and had been streaming Star Wars of the Republic and other games side by side and Bioware is very receptive to me and they actually welcomed me with open arms and they brought me on board so I was going like awesome in terms of World of Warships it's a bit of a tricky story to with that one because when I was not working and during the pandemic times of COVID I basically was streaming during the day on the North American community had a lot of fun met a lot of people don't get me wrong, it was all well and good. And my heart was on the right place. I actually pushed very hard to get to where I am. And despite of many trials or tribulations and being denied a few times, I learned from all the experiences of the negative feedback I was being given and actually turned into a positive outcome. So I've become more proactive as a streamer, interacting with the viewers, and at the same time, having a great, wonderful time. And... Uh, Honestly, um, I actually really felt, you know, much appreciated and loved by the community for what, from World of Warships. One thing I loved about the World of Warships community was that there's a lot of good streamers out there like I Chase Gaming, Notzer, as well as Sea Raptor, Lord Zaf, um, Chaos Machine, Sony MG, and a few others I could name that, you know, really, really brought in the hype to the channel. Now. The funniest thing is that uh, when I looked back in my experience about when I had my first raids, reaching to Twitch affiliate status, and now pushing still hard to the goals of, you know, Twitch partner, it's been a wonderful journey. And it has been, and it always will be. The funniest moment I ever had on Twitch uh, streaming was that when things go wrong, will go wrong. But you can actually turn that to be a success. And I, I'll tell you this now. That when I did a, a, an incredible stuff up on my channel. And I'll say this very openly. When I incredibly stuffed up my channel one day. When I had the wrong resolution. Now I look back at it. I go like, oh god. <laughs> but uh, also the funny thing is that uh, with you know memories of that. I actually remembered I used to fall asleep a lot on my streams. For, because I had insomnia, um, which is sleep apnea, a condition that I had uh, been diagnosed with. And when I had a sleep apnea condition, it was actually pretty bad. I was supposed to get a CPAP machine. I did for a short period of time, for only for one month. And in the end, I was actually told I didn't need it in the end because I lost all weight. And... In a good way, in the COVID pandemic, I actually lost a lot of weight to get to where I am. I used to weigh nearly 200 kilos, and now I'm actually weighing way a lot less than that. Um, I was over 280, and I lost nearly 100 kilos now. I'm nearly at 180 right now, but I'm still losing weight, and it's great. I mean, it's a good thing in terms of weight loss. I'm still going at it though, and still taking time with it because you don't want to rush into it. No surgery involved. It's all about you eating the right foods and stuff. And most important of all, exercise whenever you can. Um, streaming is nice when you have a set schedule. Mind you, the schedule I had at the time was flexible because I wasn't 100% sure what my schedule was going to be like. But having a, sketch, a set schedule, letting people know when you'll probably be around, is actually a good start in the right direction. Most recently, I find it uh, a bit difficult and trying to find a bit of a working balance when between work and streaming, having fun. Because when I'm working, luckily I have a job working from home. Okay, and that's the best beauty of it. Uh, when you're working from home, you don't have to worry too much except prepare yourself for dinner and everything like that. When it comes to actually streaming online, eh, it's a little different story. But, you know, at least you get the gist of it, right? I'm actually very, very proud to have met a lot of people on the internet. And that's why I build this community focused on the community. The you, the viewers, the audience. Because I love to have fun with you and that's what I do I create this channel based on that fun 
when I expand into YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook, I actually use it as a means to keep in touch and communicate with everybody. I used to have a Facebook page dedicated to the Reverendite's um, Star Wars page, but unfortunately, um, a lot of people left uh, the game and never came back for Star Wars The Republic. However, I used that as an option to build that means for making that as a social gaming community for people to actually interact and have fun with other people around the world. And at this stage, it's not many people have been interacting yet, but it's actually slowing, becoming better, and it's good. In terms of YouTube, I mean, like, YouTube content has always been a challenge because, like, I had joined a Wargaming affiliate program and made a good success with that so far, which is fantastic. By doing dev blog, in-game reviews, warship reviews, operation reviews, hints and tips, tutorials, etc. And that's still a work in progress. In terms of podcasting, now, podcasting is really a challenging one. Because, like, I have been using that as a means for interacting with different streamers and other content creators, as well as as a means to interact with talented people who have been doing artwork for the games we play, or mods and stuff like that, or, you know, get di different general aspects about, you know, gameplay and stuff. And that's all fantastic, you know. So, when I think about everything I've been doing, it's been great. At one point uh, throughout in 2020, I actually got myself a green screen. Now, green screen is a very, very handy tool for streamers because you can actually hide yourself behind a game background of your choice and actually enjoy yourself and have a great time. Honestly, um, I'll give you a quick demonstration what it looks like because it is, it is actually pretty damn cool. Mind you, I actually really liked it uh, so much. I actually thought it was... Uh, pretty funny so as you can see that the podcasting background drop is happening in the background but if i pull it up look at that there it is <laughs> awesome but you can see what i mean right so it's actually have a nice um, backdrop there mind you i mean like um when i'm doing podcasting i don't think i needed that so basically i just turned it off and then, you know, like, I just wind down the green screen like so, and actually just show my bedroom, which is pretty nice. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Some people just prefer not to have their bedroom shown, and that's all fine. That's all good. I like that. So, honestly, that's a good uh, learning curve for everybody out there. Um, the biggest thing that I find in streaming itself is that when you stream online with other people around the world, it is a bit of a challenge. And the biggest challenge factor that I find is the language barrier and how you present yourself on there. There are some people out there who find it easier to cosplay and different outfits. Some people just, you know, do cross-dressing. Some people just find it easier to not have a camera at all. Uh, for people who don't uh, have a webcam, I understand the reason why. Some people don't want to show themselves on the camera, and that's fine. Because of job profession, or sh being shy, or whatever the reason. You know, everyone respects their privacy. Um, the biggest thing about me is that I love networking, and socializing with people, getting to know people, and actually experience that journey with you. And that's why I created this channel, for you the people out there, feeling welcomed and appreciated at the same time when you go online to Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or any social media and you go like, oh, hang on, this guy has done an update, let's go check it out. You know, what I do is basically, this is my fun and dedication for the games I play and I'm very passionate about it. World of Warships may be one thing, but... Also, Star Wars The Old Republic is another. But at the end of the day, I create that fun and enjoyment for you, the people. You see, streaming is a good experience because on the TV, you, you see a lot of bad negative news going on, right? Same with social media in general. But Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook gaming, for example, it's just like, you know, you just grab a remote control... 
click your way away uh, like so and you flip over to a different TV channel and basically uh, we go like oh yeah so and so is doing this so and so is doing that you know that kind of thing and the good thing about it all is that it's free and you don't have to worry about paying a cent or dime just to watch somebody's channel hit that subscribe and follow button on my social media links definitely below because it's actually very handy there are good things about streaming on twitch and youtube and facebook is that there are ways for people to donate money by donating subscribers or donating um, real life money um, to the channel in some way shape or form that actually helps the streamer now for example over the time i actually had expanded the community thanks to some donations I actually saved up money for a green screen and later on i sorry later on i expanded the idea of saving up money for a new video card like this one here this uh, 3080 ti um another thing that i did as well was that i slowly hang on i slowly looked the idea of having a useful tool by agato which is a stream deck now the stream deck is a very handy tool to have because if I were to flip between different channels, mute microphones, switch different scenes and stuff like that, I can do it at the press of the button. And it's actually very, very handy. So that's why I love streaming, just for fun and, you know, general purposes. Mind you, I mean, like, I never regret it, you know, since day one of streaming. Streaming's been a great uh, hobby of mine because, like, I miss the, uh, the, the option uh, to interact with people in the real life world socially having fun and, and enjoying ourselves for example i have a good friend of mine in real life his name is don now don and i used to play star wars your republic a lot together and we used to do leveling with our characters having fun and it, it was great experience it really was but the thing is that we can't usually hang out together like we used to in you know people's houses because of the fewer aspect of, you know, COVID, what's going on around these days, which is a real blasted shame, if you ask me. But the thing is that streaming helps you on the mental frontier to keep you going. Now, I know streaming is not meant for everyone, but the thing is that if you're into streaming or interested in doing streaming, Think about it as a good way for you to control your own mental health awareness. Like, for example, I'm doing this for my channel to promote mental health awareness and actually keeping people happy and spread good vibes, despite of the circumstances of how bad things are going on around the world. Now, I know that, you know, things have been pretty rough and I get that. We all get that. But it's important that we stick together and have fun in some way, shape or form. Mind you, I mean, like, this is the best way I've found that keeps me going forward about my own health, you know, and actually makes me smile every day. Um, yeah, but honestly, that's why I stream for fun. And it's not all about, you know... Or any money or anything like that that's just like you know just a thing on the side but I dedicate myself to help people whenever I can like for example I had a friend of mine who had a computer that died and what I did was that I actually raised enough money and funds from my subscriber uh, donations put them aside and put them as a PayPal payment towards my friend as a surprise gift and say, hey, look, this money is from my channel and everything. I don't need it. Please help yourself to save up money towards your new system. And that is actually something that has been really, really beneficial for that person and individual in the long term. Honestly, I believe in being fair to others. And it is important that when I build this channel community, it's all about helping each other out, no matter what, if you're a streamer or not. And honestly, 
it is important to keep that networking opportunity alive. Um, the YouTube channel is really used for the dev blog worship reviews and everything that I've been using it for, and that's still growing, it's still expanding, and that won't change. Podcasting with other streamers is very good and handy to have. And honestly, on top of it all, I suppose what is really important is a is for you to enjoy yourself and what you're doing. Just be yourself on the streams. Have fun. And that's why I promote this community for that, based on that reason. Honestly, at the end of the day, I think um, as I expand on the World of Warships community, it doesn't matter which server I want to represent, but at the end of the day, I want to represent the franchise as a community contributor for the program and everything, and to represent, you know, people out there have, and enjoy having fun with you all. Uh, I hope to be uh, becoming a community contributor for the Southeast Asia Asia server because I'm working, but um, I, I understand if I am not there yet but at the same time I'm still trying I mean like I'm still getting there I'm still working hard in terms of um, other games like Mass Effect Enlisted and other games I've played in the past it's all well and good I love having fun in those games sponsorships is fantastic and it's great I'll tell you this now when you get sponsored by any company out there it's a awesome opportunity for you to increase your channel growth and everything and it actually works out well in the long term in the short term it actually gives you good recognition in the long term it actually not only gives you good recognition but at least you establish a good relationship in back and forth between you and that group now that's fine honestly that is so i think um overall it's summarized in this video for podcasting uh purposes I'm an Australian streamer, I love streaming online, having fun, building this community for the fun of it. And at the end of the day, go check out my social links down below and definitely drop in a follow, subscribe to my channel and have fun. Until then, please stay safe and take care. It is lovely to meet you and I'm hoping you all have a wonderful day, no matter what.